Well, right now we're seeing some wet and dreary conditions outside. You might remember back more than a month ago, a microburst ripped through Topsom. And on one property, the impact of that storm has been felt for weeks. But that's until Team Rubicon came in to help clear the damage. New Center Range Sean Stackhouse has the story. Yeah, me uninjured, yeah, but the rest of the property, well, <laughs> it speaks for itself. <laughs> Debris everywhere, limbs snapped, trees uprooted, a Labor Day storm that packed a punch and left trees across Danny Pollock's property for more than a month. It was so fast, it was just like a freight train, you know, it was, it was unbelievable the destruction that happened within minutes. This is what Pollock's property in Topsom looked like after being ravaged by the storm, bringing down hundreds of trees right on his property. It was just too much to handle, all for one person, you know. And insurance wouldn't cover the cleanup. That's where Team Rubicon came in. New England just normally take care of their own problems and, and and they were able to take care of themselves, but this is well beyond anything that I've seen. Team Rubicon is a nonprofit disaster response team that travels around the country helping pick up the pieces after a storm. As for Topsom, it was in pure devastation. I mean, uh, we've been to other operations in the southern part of the country that have uh, experienced uh, hurricanes and such like that and seen similar uh, damage. But it was amazing to see that it was just condensed in this one small. Uh, property. Helping cut, clear, and haul away what the storm left behind. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, you know. I take my hat off to these guys. They're a great bunch of guys. In the true spirit of our state, Mainers and beyond helping Mainers. You know, I appreciate everything they did. In Topsom, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. Team Rubicon was on hand in Topsom for the whole weekend to help with cleanup there. Leaders with the nonprofit say it also served as a great opportunity for training so more Sawyers can be ready to respond to future natural disasters.